Hey everybody, at BV Matson here. It's camshaft install day on the CB77 Superhawk 305 motor. Let's get to it. Freezing your camshaft parts before installation should definitely give you some help on this one, all right? So make sure to throw them in the freeze for a good 20 minutes or so before you get started. All right, we're gonna start with the left side cam first. All right, so one with the spinning edge, this is your tack meter. And you should have both those bearings installed. You can go back to the previous video when we did that. Basically, should be easy. This is the left side. Just make sure that your exhaust ports are going this way, and that's a good way to know. And you're going to just kind of by hand get this thing in place and try to get it. It's like a snug fit, but try to get it as straight as possible. You don't want this thing going in kitty wumpus. Grab your rubber hammer. And just lightly start guiding this bearing in. This rubber hammer is really key. Don't want to use a steel hammer on it. And again, I want to just make sure you're getting it going in as straight as possible. Take your time. I found standing it on the end made it a lot easier, similar to when we were putting the bearings in. And we are clear. We're going to go ahead and pop this thing all the way through. Gentle taps. Be careful not to mar up the surface of that cam as you're coming through. And you can see here, we've got one in. We can go ahead and align. I did forget to mention that I did use a little bit of uh, Marvel Mystery Oil around this first bearing edge. I did not do this bottom one yet. So I'm gonna get in here with some Marvel. Just kind of lubricate things up just a little bit to help with the assembly. Kind of want to go a little fast because I don't want this thing to cool off. But the second one should start to drive in there. Let me give you a little bit lower angle here. This is, should line up pretty nice once you get to this point. And then again, that one slides right in. All right, so that's about where you want to be. Just kind of like, you know, two thirds of it on. A little bit yet exposed because we need to put the other side of this thing in. But right now, that side is installed. All right, once you're to that point, you want to go and grab your pin. Uh, don't forget a little bit of assembly lube on this. I mean, when in doubt, <laughs> lubricate would be my suggestion to you. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of assembly lube on this. And this pin is going to go in through this side and to the middle of this part of the camshaft that we just installed. Slide that in, make sure that is nice and snug right there. All right, here you can see that rod that we just installed protruding just a little bit. Hold a little pressure on the backside, grab the locking washer or spring washer as some like to call it, and go ahead and grab your nut and put that onto there. Just like that, one step at a time. All right, with this kind of first side ready to go, we need to quick us install um, or assemble, I should say, the right side of the cam. So I'm gonna go ahead, use some assembly lube over on these parts here. I'm gonna install this just like this, all right? We're gonna move this through, just like that. Come out on the other side, and there's going to be one little locking clip or a circlip, I think they call them, in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. I gotta switch out my tips, a little bit too big. If you look really, 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 really close, there is just a small groove right here, right there. That's where you want to get that clip installed. All right, got the proper tool in hand. I'm going to go ahead and expand this clip just a little bit. Feed that over. Don't get too aggressive. A little bit here, just like that. And we can push this over into position right here. Come on, buddy. Go on home. And should hear that snap. I hope you heard that on camera. Boom, installed, there we go. All right, back over to the actual head here. Uh, we need to actually get the main sprocket and the timing advance installed. Two sides to this thing, there's a flat side and then the side with the actual weights on that timing advance. The weights are gonna go to the left side, so towards the side that we just installed. If you look really close, it's impossible to put this on the wrong way. Um, there's one way you can do it, and 
That's, that's the only way. So just make sure you're lining up all the teeth. I did have to back out my bearings quite a bit more. They're like barely in there. Maybe a third of that bearing is in there. I did have to go back and knock this out. And I basically just took my end of my hammer and just kind of nudged that back just a little bit because there is not a lot of spare room um, in, in this assembly here. But we're going to go ahead and try and get this aligned. This is going to be really hard to show you, honestly. Um, but we can see it a little bit better here. Hopefully, I can get you a zoomed-in angle. Here I can see my mark right here, or a big, thick, wide tooth. There's a big, thick, wide tooth right here. So again, my weights are going to go to the left. And then I'm going to try and slide this in there. It is, there is no room. Um, that bearing is barely, 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 barely in there. I actually have to back it out just a smidgen more. So you don't even have to go halfway. It's um, not much. Just got to back it off. Just, yeah, even if it comes out, it's going to come out. <laughs> I think that's just kind of how it is. All right, so let's go ahead Line this up as best we can. Slide this in. I almost feel like you could do this before you even do the bearings. And this can be a tricky little bugger to get this thing to go back together. But again, just remember, weights are going to go on the left side. Flat surface to the right. This is a real bugger, getting this thing to line up and slide on there nice and clean. Once you get it, it'll go. You'll have to give it a little bit of a nudge. A little persuasion helps. <laughs> After much finagling, guys, it's easier to just get this first bearing through and then have the camshaft loose. So then you can actually move and adjust this thing just a little bit to get it lined up. If both the bearings are in there, man, getting that aligned up and pushing that on perfect is really kind of a pain in the butt. I miss hit the record button, so I didn't even show that. Um, but yeah, now I've just kind of tapped it in and now it's all firmly in place. That pin is in place and now we're ready to, to really move on to the next stages. It's really, really, really tight, really tight in here. That bearing barely even holds on there. So I would just get that first bearing in, get your, your um, sprocket lined up, and then go ahead and tap the whole thing in as a unit. Seemed a little easier to me. All right, so now we're ready to install the other side. Again, this is two parts. So there's the, we got to meet the second half with this outer kind of sprocket. And then this also has to mate properly with the inside of that advanced mechanism. So um, we just got to go for it. And... Uh, try to get this stuff to align. Um, this is this is going to be tricky, I think. I'm not anticipating this to be like super easy by any means. So I am going to lubricate these inner sides just to help me with my bearing install just a little bit. And again, we're going to take it this way, make sure all my parts are installed. Again, just like we did before, we're going to kind of get this bearing hand on hit like hand just get it centered on here then we should be able to start driving it home i'm going to get this first bearing through so we can start aligning it with the rest of the sprocket all right so here we go we're getting through gentle as you're coming through this other side you don't want to nick anything up as you're coming through here ah looks like i knocked my knocked my sprocket off of here while I was pounding on it. So got to go ahead and align this again so I can get this all going together. Definitely, definitely a tedious, a tedious process here. So there is that small index mark right there. That also happens to coincide with the gap in the tooth um, here that is going to allow you to slide it all together. So just make sure that you've always got your index mark pointed straight 12 o'clock. And then you're gonna to wanna to look up on this as well, on the end here, Ooh, zoom focus, here we go. There's the little index mark on that. Keep that at noon as well as you're moving through and the whole thing should line up, you know, <laughs> should line up as we move this all together. So let's go for it. All right, one thing to note as well, I've got this in the open position. This, again, is a reverse thread, so you move it left to tighten it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, get this first bearing all the way through, just like that. I'm going to keep 
this piece, this top piece, oh, you can't see it. Let me go up. This little top piece, this index mark up here, keep that at noon. And I need to keep this other end of the sprocket with the gap at noon as well. And I'm gonna keep my dot at 12 o'clock. So this should all line up. You gotta go really slow because you're tapping two, you're basically tapping, you know, three pieces together. You don't want anything to really bind. So just watch. I got 12 o'clock here. And then if I look up, if I look underneath here, I can see the cam, that gap, that wide tooth is there as well. So I feel okay about that. And I'm gonna hold that if I can. Let's actually get that part mated first. Like you're gonna know pretty darn quick if you're gonna start having a binding problem. So this is a very slow and tedious process. You gotta keep, keep your eye on everything. I am making progress, I'm a little over halfway on that bearing. Um, the good thing is, is that this is your timing advance unit here. Getting this thing fed in, it's kind of the biggest challenge of them all, but I know I'm on there because when I turn my timing advance, it is advancing those weights. So I'm good, I've got my sprocket. Let's see, if I back this to 12 o'clock, and I look there, I've got my, my thing on 12 o'clock as well. So I'm 12 o'clock and 12 o'clock. So I'm in the right place. Now I just got to get this thing fully cinched together. All right, we finally got it. It's in there, centered in the box. Everything looks good. What you can do then is you can do uh, tighten up this locker on the end. And then the real booger is getting this bugger tightened up. Again, this is a left-handed thread. So uh, you're going to need like a block of wood or something to jam in here. Um, and then you can go ahead and tighten that thing up. That should suck it all together. And we should be done with this portion. And uh, yeah, it's kind of on to the next stuff. And finding just the right width board tends to be the biggest issue. But finally, I found a couple little pieces of wood here that I could stack together to make this perfect. Now I'm able to really make sure that I am getting that locker on the inside here nice and tight. I actually feel pretty good about all of that. If I do have to shift the camshaft a little bit, the whole thing should go as a unit now. I feel pretty good. Got the, uh, that, uh, the weights. Let me see if I can show you that at all. Weights are lifting when I turn that so I know it's all seated right. It won't go together unless it is. The only thing I'm wondering is how far to which side all of this is going to need to go. All right. All right, so there you go. It is a bit of a, it's kind of a picky little subject here, uh, getting these things going. We will work on making sure it's exactly centered um, in there once we get the cam chain and everything connected to that. Um, little lessons learned, hmm. make sure that all of your bearings are 100% seated against their installation positions because it's going to be really tight. It's going to be a really tight fit to get those side covers back on it um, for the tack and the points. Um, the other thing, have the right piece of wood to make sure you can stop this. Um, but at the end of the day, we're in a good position because if I turn this up to 12 o'clock, I can look straight across and there is my index mark. If it'll zoom, yep, there it is. There's that index mark right there. We're good to go. Cam is in. Next thing is really getting to the uh, the rockers. That's the next step. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe. Also, go find the Facebook group, the Keep On Wrenching Community Group. And also, if you want a free sticker, head on over to keeponwrenching.com. This two-part cam, that is a booger. It's a booger, but it's in there, and we're going to start making some more progress. We'll see you in the next video or live stream.